It looks kind of cute in a weird sort of way. Hey guys, welcome back to Deadly Weekly Build. Today I'm going to build this, this Marvel Avengers set from a few years ago and see if it's any good because it's a pretty big box, but how much do you really get? So this box is pretty big. It almost takes up my complete filming space. So here we have Avengers Endgame Final Battle. I've lost count of the amount of sets that have this name. I think there's a new one coming out as well with the similar name. So what I guess it describes it well it's the final battle from endgame but it's a pretty big box almost takes up my complete filming space obviously we've got the avengers hq some broken debris here and ant-man's van and big fig thanos but other minifigures we've got captain america iron man thor scarlet witch black panther chitauri and of course big fig thanos and a little nano fig for ant-man and then on the back of the box it just kind of shows you exactly what you're getting which again it isn't really that much to it you got the base the van and there's a little side turret. That's all there is. So sometimes I think Lego boxes are oversized for what you get. And this is probably a good example of that. But I guess I'll find out once I build it. So this is what's all inside. You've got the body for Big Thick Thanos. And four numbered bags. That is it. No multiples of numbers. And this little pack for power stuff for Scarlet Witch. That's it. Just four bags. So <laughs> probably didn't need to be that big because there's not that much here. But it's good to see that the instruction booklet is well protected, so it's a sticker sheet. Just one instruction booklet. But yeah, there isn't too much here, so this shouldn't take too long to build. Just finished the first bag, and inside that we got a brick separator, the damaged Avenger sign, turret, and Big Fig Thanos, Iron Man, and Captain America. They also come with hair pieces and their helmets, which is pretty nice. Iron Man's also got a shield, Captain America has his shield and Thor's hammer. And Thanos has his double-edged sword, but there's also a piece where you can make it so he has two separate swords, which the instructions show as well. So we can have one double-edged sword or two single swords. And that's what the figures look like with their hair pieces removed and helmets on. They both have alternate faces. So you've got Captain America with his chin strap and a slightly more stern face. And then there's Tony Stark with his helmet. And this is the type of helmet mold where you can actually open up the visor. And that's what it looks like underneath the helmet where he's looking at some heads up displays and on screen visuals. Also looking a bit angry as he's probably taking on Thanos who is a pretty nice big fig. My first ever Lego big fig actually. He doesn't have any hair pieces obviously or he doesn't come with any helmets either though. But he does look rather menacing and he just looks really good. I wonder can you fit the big fig head on a regular minifigure? And the answer to that is yes, yes you can. Look at him. <laughs> he looks kind of cute in a weird sort of way. But then you can also fit a regular minifigure head onto a big fig. So he looks pretty happy. Now I'm onto bag two and I'm beginning to build the Avengers base. Bag two is finished and the compound is beginning to take shape. Although there isn't really much to it at all. But we know that already, don't we? Sure, it looks modern and basic and Lego City style on the front. But then look at this really cool interior with this workstation with some cool stickers. I mean, they're probably pretty nice with the how Tony Stark figured out time travel, then some bits on the nano gauntlet there, which is just not printed, but you know, you know what that's supposed to be. And then this holding cell for any bad guys with all these laser beams blocking the front exit. Then what's to stop the bad guys from smashing out the front, you know? I guess it's like reinforced glass or something. Now it's time to finish off the compound with bag number three. And it looks like we're making Scarlet Witch. With bag three, we got Scarlet Witch and Thor. Looking pretty nice with his Stormbreaker there and Scarlet Witch with these Power Blast pieces. And then we just assembled the top floor of the base and put it all together. Although the top is very basic because you get a rack with a couple of guns and this fancy table, but all having a coffee break. And then it looks like Captain Marvel and Rocket Raccoon are here on some holograms just for, I don't know, having a cup of tea, I guess. But that's pretty much it. Not really much of a headquarters, is there? So now we're on to bag four, the final bag, and we get to build Ant-Man's van with Black Panther, Ant-Man, and a Chitauri as well. Bag four is finished, and so is the set. So the last thing I built was Ant-Man's van. Of course, we get Ant-Man, a Chitauri, and Black Panther. But because of how small Ant-Man is and Lego's spare parts policy, you actually get a spare Ant-Man. So there are two included in the set. The truck is pretty nice with its kind of retro 1970s style with the XCOM branding from the Ant-Man films. And look at that little stickers on the back. S suggestion of a spare tyre and you can open that up and it's the Quantum Realm portal. Although these studs here look a bit unfinished. I think a 1x4 tile over the top would have been you know, better just to cover those up a little bit. 
but it's pretty cool and there's lots of space inside. And the interior is pretty much completely open. There is a bit of an awkward gap through the bottom there with a little suggestion of just one seat, but there's more space in here than I was expecting. So you could just dump a load of stuff in there. So let's take a quick look at the minifigures overall and they're all pretty decent, but there is one major problem that I have with these. None of them, apart from Tony Stark, have leg printing. And they just look so plain without it. Like, sure, Steve Rogers, okay, fine, I guess he can do without it. But Black Panther, you know, like, carry on that design. It would look so much better. Scarlet Witch, again, I guess you could say that it's fine for her. But Thor, give him some more details down there. It's just, the torso detailing is great, but it's lacking in the leg department. And it's the same for this Tatari minifigure. Like again, nice detailing for the head and the torso, but it just needs leg printing at the very least. You know, arm printing, sure, would have made this look even better, but I can let that slide. And in fact, maybe even including just a second Jatari here would have been a bit nice as well. And I spoke about the big fig Thanos earlier, but I just do quite like him. I can't really complain. Here's just a quick look at some of the spare parts, including some spare power blast pieces for Scarlet Witch. Obviously the spare Ant-Man little nano figure and just some other little parts there as well. And then if you put all the figures inside the base, it does start to get a little bit cramped. Although, again, there's not much to it. There isn't much floor space. The entire upper floor is just a break room. The holding cell is barely big enough to fit the big fig in there. Like that, his arms are touching the walls. Although I do really like this kind of red laser effect. The way they've done that, I think is pretty genius, if I'm honest, I do like that. Downstairs, just a little lab. This table can be removed but there's nothing else to it. And it kind of, the position that it's in kind of wastes space to me. And then this is just a corridor to the front door. They could have done better, but then it is only quite small. I'm surprised it wasn't shallower, to be honest. If I was the designer of this set, I would take off those little floor pieces that hold the table in, take out the table and put it in a completely different orientation. Instead of having it across the front, blocking up most of the space down here, I would just put it in sideways like that. And then you've got this whole open area so you can put more things in there you can stand at figures you can maybe put a chair in or something it just opens up the floor and you can still see the cool stickers and things like that so to me this just makes more sense well there we go some pretty nice figures an okay build but this is missing something it needed a bit more what do you guys think let me know in the comments and i'll see you all in the next one bye for now